All right, so problem one of the free response section of the 2015 AP Calculus exam, we have at time t equals zero minutes. <laughs> time t equals zero minutes, a tank contains 100 liters of water. The piecewise linear graph above shows the rate, R of t in liters per minute, at which water is pumped into the tank during a 55 minute period. Part A asks for find R prime of 45 using appropriate units. Explain the meaning of your answer in the context of this problem. Okay, not, not, not an issue. What we're talking about here is the rate of this rate. This rate describes how much water is being pumped into the tank, like the rate of which water is being pumped in. So then this will tell you the rate at which that rate is changing. <laughs> so it's like, if this is, going to be a positive number it's saying that it's it's going to be pumped that the rate that they're pumping water in is increasing it's, it's, it's going to go up if it's negative it means it's decreasing it's slowing down if it's zero it's going to be um the same it's going to stay the same same rate so we just look essentially at like the slope of this graph at 45 minutes which is like right between here so it's linear graph but let's let's just go old school with the slope equation so to speak y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x minus x1 so 30 minus 0 over 35 minus 55 30 over negative 20 the so negative 1.5 so what this is saying is that the rate at which water is being pumped into the tank is decreasing at 1.5 liters per minute squared at the time t equals 45 minutes. There we go. Part B. How many liters of water have been pumped into the tank from time t equals zero to time t equals 55 minutes? Show the work that leads to your answer. Okay, so this is just the integral from zero to 55 of R of t of the rate at which water is being pumped in. When you integrate the rate at which water is being pumped in over some time period, you're going to get the total amount that's pumped in. And we have a a pretty simple graph to integrate because this is just going to be an area made up of rectangles and triangles that we can find with simple multiplication. So we're going to find the areas of these and add them up. We got 10 by 20, 200, 20 by 20 by divided by half. So that this is 200 as well. 15 by 30. 450, 30 by 20, 600 divided by two is 300. So we're gonna have our total will be 200 plus 200 plus 450 plus 300. We'll get seven, 1150, 1150 liters. Cool. Part C. At time t equals 10 minutes, water begins draining from the tank at a, mo at a rate modeled by the function d, or d of t equals 10 e to the sine of t over 10 liters per minute. Water continues to drain at this rate until time t equals 55 minutes. How many liters of water are in the tank at time t equals 55 minutes? Okay, so um. Just think about like um, how to think about like what this does. Like this just takes water away. So first we want to see how much water there is in total at 55 minutes, and then we're going to subtract how much water was taken away from 10 to 55 minutes. So, flashing back to the beginning of the problem, we're told that it starts with 100 100 watt liters of water to begin with. Then we get added 1150. So then we have 1250 minus however much gets pumped out. 
So let's do that. Let's set that one up like that. We got 100 plus, and maybe we just write the integral from zero to 55 in case they're like thinking you're guessing, which shouldn't be a thing. Then from here, we're gonna subtract the integral from 10 to 55 of d of t dt. A hundred plus eleven fifty minus you can use your graphing calculator to integrate that. And you're gonna get about let's see. I did it right, I did it right here. About four fifty point two seven five. And then this will be right under 800 liters of water, so 799.7246. So I got 462, 462.838.83, 8583 liters. I'm always paranoid about the rounding because sometimes I'm wondering if like, they actually take up way a point for off, or if you have like the wrong ten thousands place. Even though they say they rounded rounded the nearest thousandth, um, I think it's better to to show your entire thing so that they know they they they, they like so that they don't really have a good reason to take a point off. I don't really think they ever do. It's just a you know formality, I guess. Okay, so now last part we have using the function R and D, determine whether the amount of water in the tank is increasing or decreasing at time t equals 45. Okay, so R, remember, tells you how much water is coming in. D tells you how much water is going out. So you just have to see which one is larger at this time period. So we just calculate R45 and D of 45 and just... Whichever one is bigger, that means that's the one that's going to tell you if it this if R of T, if R of forty five is bigger, it means the water is increasing. If D of forty five is bigger, it means the water is decreasing. So going back to our original graph, R forty five is just going to be the value here on this graph. And luckily for us, we can find it easily. Now, just this point will be at 45.15. For this, we just probably want to use a calculator for that. And. Plug it in, we just plug in 45 for sign there. And we'll get about 10.8882. But this, so R45 is bigger, so therefore the amount of water in the tank is increasing. And there we go. That's all there is to it. So any questions, leave them in the comment section. Feedback is always welcome. Um, 
don't, you're not going to hurt my feelings. I, I know I can always improve. And um, if you do like this video, give me that thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys in, in the next video for the other free response section or free response problems.